Hello, everybody. We're welcoming back Joe Gabasi, NCAA basketball analyst. And Joe's coming off of a big win for us and our viewers last night with Xavier. Got it done in a solid fashion, and that's what Joe does. Uh, the Pitt Panthers are taking on the Clemson Tigers tonight, and it's very rare you see the line set like this. It's usually the other way around. Pitt is plus one and a half. It was plus three, but across the board, it's plus one and a half right now on Clemson's home court. So, Joe, Oh, I'm anxious to hear where you think the advantage is with Pitt. Uh, is Clemson perhaps, um, you know, maybe a little overvalued? And uh, do you think this could be absolutely a tight battle, or do you see Pitt maybe running away with this? Well, I see Pitt getting the solid victory in this game because, to my way of thinking, they clearly are the better team. Who would have thought in this point in the season that Clemson, who moved their home games to the Bon Secours Wellness Arena some 40 miles away in Greenville, would be 9-2 and two straight up on their home neutral court, including 4-0 and oh against the spread with four underdog outright wins in ACC play. That's what the Clemson Tigers have done, a team who was rumored to have been one of the teams who was more hurt by the shortened shot clock than any other. Clemson has clearly performed above expectations. You know, every week, as I've said, on Monday morning, I look at those conference standings and see which teams I think are overrated and are due to take a hit here. Well, Clemson Tigers in third place in the ACC. I simply don't think they're going to finish in third place in the ACC this season. And the downfall started against Virginia in their previous game and will continue against the Pitt Panthers tonight. Pitt Panthers are out for blood this season. At one point last year, they stood 19 and 10 straight up and looked like they were headed to yet another NCAA tourney appearance under Jamie Dixon. But the bottom fell out from this injured, battered, and bruised Pitt team last year. They lost their last five games and wound up with a first round loss in the NIT. Now back at full strength and aided by depth from those injuries last year, the Panthers are growling this year. Yes, they have three veteran leaders back for them, Robinson at the point, as well as Artis on the wing and Young inside. And they've led a team to excellent fundamental numbers once again this year for Jamie Dixon's team. This team always is positive rebound margin, positive assist turnover margin, and positive net turnover margin. And you know when that happens, and those numbers total 10 or more, you have one of our 2016 Super Rats exactly what the Pitt Panthers are in this game. They're also in their preferred role of underdog, where under Jamie Dixon, they are 55 and 34 against the spread in the role of underdog to minus one. I like them here, further motivated by the fact that Clemson handed Pitt a rare defeat at the Peterson Center, Pitt's home, last year. Everything adds up here, along with the fact that Pitt averages 12 points more and 4% better shooting from the field than does Clemson and has a 77% foul try percentage to extend any lead down the stretch. It's all working together for the Pitt Panthers here. Aided by their super rat numbers, their role as underdog, their revenge motive, and the fact they have a better offense. Pitt to win this one outright. Take the points, look for the Panthers to growl. I, love, I miss that growl. It's been a while. Hey, Joe, when you were figuring this one out and breaking it down, um, does the fact that Clemson has had a lot of time off since their last game, do you think that bodes against them? Or, did, you know, did that kind of maybe give you a little hesitation here? Or is Pitt just that ready for the revenge? Sure. Well, I think that the key factor here is that, um, is that we have a visiting team in Pitt who is playing in good rhythm. It's always hard to tell whether a team is going to bounce back or to have a little letdown after a loss like uh, Clemson had. But I think regardless, we have clearly the better team here in Pitt and a better spot, and I look for the Panthers to get the victory. Yeah, yeah, and I can't really uh, refute that. You know, I know Clemson beat a good Miami team. Um, they can't, they're coming off that seven-point setback to Virginia, and then they got this long rest. So 
I don't know. I think Pitt has the advantage. And Pitt's average, and I think if I'm correct, they're third in the ACC with 81 points per game. And, you know, Clemson, they're, they're not nowhere near that number. So, okay, Joe, we appreciate that breakdown. Viewers, you heard it. Pitt Panthers tonight, they don't need the points, but will never, ever deny an insurance policy. So take Pitt plus the one and a half to get it done at Clemson tonight in college basketball. Joe, thanks so much. We look forward to breaking down another college hoops video with you and have a great day, my friend.